Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm asking a weird little question today. Let's check it out. It says match each phrase on the left with the appropriate algebraic expression on the right. Um, don't know why I called it an algebraic expression. Actually, I could have done without that word. I could have just said match each phrase, phrase on the left with the appropriate expression on the right. I probably freaked you guys out just by saying algebra. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, I'm just trying to basically take something that's in English and translate it into the language of math. Um, and so I think of this as direct translation, just straight up going from English to math. So let's take a look at A. A says the product of 18 and 6. So obviously we're looking at 18 and 6, but the important vocabulary word here is product. You need to know that product, and I have definitely seen this word come up in GED questions or GED practice test questions before. Uh, the word product means uh, a multiplication problem or the answer when you multiply. So a multiplication expression or the answer when you multiply. Multiplication expression. So I'm looking here for um, a direct translation of uh, make 18 and 6 multiply, basically. So I look here and in number 2, I see the numbers 18 and 6 just shoved up against each other. And the only thing between them is a parentheses. And so parentheses with proximity mean multiplication. This is an example of the product of 18 and 6. A is 2. Okay, now hopefully most of us know the word sum, and I have a lot of students who scream out, total, careful. Um, a sum is one kind of total, <laughs> but there's more than one way to find a total. So the sum is an addition expression, or uh, another way of putting it, the answer when you add, but it's an addition expression. So in this one, I'm looking for 18 and six to be summed, to be added together. So that's definitely V, we see 18 plus six, not V, sorry, four. IV is Roman numerals for four. Uh, so B pairs with number four. Uh, C is the difference between 18 and six. Now careful, a lot of students know that uh, difference is a subtraction expression. But what a lot of students don't know is that difference is always positive. I'm gonna say that again, difference is always positive. The difference between two numbers is, al is always positive. When mathematicians wanna make sure that something's always positive, they put it in what we call absolute value signs. And so we see here that I shows us a picture of the difference between 18 and six. On the inside, we're subtracting 18 and six. And then we're making sure that our answer is positive by taking the absolute value of that. Now, students get a little mad at me, like, Kate, of course 18 minus 6 is positive. Yeah, it's a coincidence because it happened to be that number. What if I had said the difference between 6 and 18? You could have still subtracted 6 minus 18 and then used absolute values to turn whatever answer you get into a positive. So that's what I mean by that. So C is number I, number I, number 1. Okay, and then finally D is obvious, but quotient, the quotient of 18 and 6 quotient is a division expression. Uh, it's the answer when you divide. So I see here that there is the quotient of 18 divided by 6. That's uh, 3, or I, I, I. Okay, so correct answer is here. A is 2, B is 4, C is 1. And D is I, I, I. And the thing you need to walk around realizing is these, you need to walk away realizing is these four words. You need to know the sum is an addition, sum is an addition expression. A difference is a subtraction expression. A product is a multiplication expression. And a quotient is a division expression. Put that in your notes. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.